Good morning. How are you all doing today? I liked, I'm finishing up First Peter and I enjoyed it a lot. I thought I'd share it with you. First Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care upon him. Casting like fishing. Cast your anxiety. Give it to him. Cast all your cares on him. There are all my cares. And I thought of baggage. Giving your baggage to God. Your luggage. I'll take that. Cast all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. And here's God saying, I care for, and put your name right here. I care for Jill. Be sober, be vigilant. Be alert and be on the lookout. Be sober and vigilant. Keep an eye out. Because your adversary, your enemy, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Roaring. Rawr. Roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Who can I eat? I like my little monster. Here's uh, lions roaring about, looking for something to eat, someone to eat. Resist the devil, standing firm in the faith. I resist you. Stop. Steadfast in the faith. Resist the devil. And there's another verse. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And I didn't go over this a second time, but cast all your cares on him for he cares for you. And be watchful. Be alert. Be on the lookout. So cast all your cares on him knowing that the same Sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. So this was fun to draw. Except suffering. Same suffering. Th same thing is going on to your brothers and sisters in the world. But may the God of all grace, God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory, God called us to his eternal glory in Christ, I didn't write that down. Eternal glory in Christ. Eternal is forever. So he calls us to eternal glory in Christ. So let's go over that one more time. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world, but may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a while, so you're going to suffer a while. Look at the, don't look at the clock, but it'll be for a little, little while. Here's a little hourglass. After you've suffered a while, may God, but it, it's, it's a long sentence with different parts. After you have suffered a while, perfect, may God, and I wrote in there, may God perfect. Come on back. There we go. May God perfect, make you perfect, make you complete in him. May he establish you and set you up, secure you. May he strengthen you so you're not so weak. Make you stronger. And may he settle you and give you a firm foundation. So after you've suffered a while, may God perfect you, complete you, secure you, establish you, strengthen you, and settle you. And to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. So to God be the glory forever. Dominion means authority, power, and forever. Amen. Have a good Sunday.